What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope you've had a great week so far and looking forward to a great weekend. I just want to jump on for our weekly update and give you really just five updates. I have five quick thoughts to give you tonight. Thanks for jumping on. Go ahead and share it if you haven't yet and get the word out. Let's get some other people in here with us on YouTube and on Facebook. Shout out to all of you that are watching. And there's just five quick things I wanna, I wanna let you know. Some of them are reminders, some of them are some new information, but five things to write down, to remember, to keep in mind heading into this weekend. Number one, I wanna remind you that we are taking it slow when it comes to our reopening process. We're, we're taking little steps and we're moving slow. We're being cautious, we're, we're praying, we're talking about it every day. And so make sure you keep tuning into these updates, keep tuning in on the weekend so that you get the latest info on our plans to reopen. Number two, I wanna remind you or, or encourage you to be prepared for our vision offering this weekend. It's the first weekend of the month and we've got our vision offering coming up. So we'll be giving you some updates on a couple things that have been happening that are really exciting. So prepare for that. Number three is Pastor Johnny Hill is bringing the word this weekend. We're continuing our series, Jesus Unlimited. And I'm looking forward to hearing from Pastor Johnny. He's one of my favorite communicators. I know you'll love it as well. So go ahead and invite a friend. Make sure you plan to be online with us 5 p.m. on Saturday night, 9.30 and 11.15 on Sunday morning, all those central time if you're watching from somewhere else in the country or the world. But make sure you join us. Let's gather together online July 4th and 5th coming up in just a couple days. Number th- number four is something I wanna tell you about. It's something that happened in the last couple weeks. We have officially launched our brand new Axis YouTube channel. It's called Axis TV. And it's a really great uh, new kind of initiative we're launching. You know, one of the things that we were talking about this summer, uh, we didn't get to have Axis Nation, as you know, and, and things have looked very different for our youth ministry in this season. And so we've redirected some of our energy and time into producing something that we're hoping can leave a lasting impact over the next uh, decade or so of ministry, whoever, however long YouTube is around. And so one of the things we're doing is we're building a channel that is meant to engage with young people, both entertain them, but also influence them and reach them. And, and our, hope in, it, our hope is, our prayer is, our vision is that it expands even beyond just our church and starts to impact those that come to our conference every summer and even beyond that to just impact young people all over the world. And so I want to encourage you to help us out, okay? Help, help, help the youth group out, help Access out, help Access TV out by doing a couple things. Number one, go subscribe. You know, we have almost 8,000 subscribers on our Life Church YouTube page. Let's get as many of you as possible over to Access TV to help support uh, what we're gonna be doing on that channel. We've already posted a couple of videos, so go subscribe, Access TV. Number two, I'd love it if you take a moment and watch some of the videos. Now, some of them, you may be like, wow, this is really random that we're watching this right now. That's fine, just watch it. We're also posting Access Nation messages from last year that you can go back and watch. We've already done that. We've got another video that's coming out tomorrow And so help us out, bring some momentum to our channel for us by subscribing, by watching the videos. And then finally, if you know a teenager, if you have a teenager, encourage them to go subscribe and be a part of the channel as well. We're gonna be doing giveaways periodically to people that are subscribed. We just gave away three pairs of AirPods this week for new subscribers. So we're gonna be doing stuff like that all the time. It's just another way for us to engage young people, reach young people, and move the kingdom of God forward through the next generation. So pray for us and help us by supporting Axis TV, okay? Really excited about it and we're working really hard on it. So hope you can check it out and be a part of that. And then number five, one more update, one more reminder. I just wanna remind you, here's the update. God is still in control. No matter what's going on in your world, no matter what you feel like right now, no matter how, how life is treating you, remember, God is still in control. I read a verse this morning that I think is so simple, but it's such a great reminder in Psalm chapter 47, verse eight. It says this, God reigns above the nations sitting on his holy throne. God reigns above the nations. He reigns above the world and he's seated on a holy throne. Do you know what that tells me? is that when we get nervous, often one of the things I'll do when I'm nervous is I'll pace around, I'll walk around, I can't sit still, right? Because I'm thinking, I'm moving, and I'm panicking, I'm trying to figure out what to do. One of the things I love about God is that when you see the picture of him up in heaven, you don't need to see someone that's pacing around, that's anxious, that's worried about what's gonna happen, that's not, not so sure about the world right now or, or concerned about the virus or concerned about this or concerned about that. What we read about our God is that when you see him in heaven, he's not pacing, he is sitting down, he's seated. You know what that means? It means he's in control. It means he's at peace. 
He's not frantic. He's not worried. He's not caught off guard. He is in control. And so if our God, our Father God in heaven is in control and seated and at peace, how many of you know we can take that same peace, that same comfort, and we can, we can, we can sit in our souls. We can settle in our souls and not be freaked out or panicked, but we can choose faith over fear because our God is in control. So I wanna remind you, Make sure you're planning to be here this weekend online with us, YouTube and Facebook. Prepare for the vision offering. Get ready for Pastor Johnny's word. Subscribe to Access TV. Go help us out. Get that channel off the ground. But then remember this week as we head into the weekend, no matter what's going on, God is still in control. Thanks for watching tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Share this with someone if they weren't able to join. We will see you this weekend, Saturday night, 5 p.m. It's gonna be a great weekend. We love you. Can't wait to see you soon.